there's what we can refer to as the Jesus family. The Jesus family goes beyond biological borders. The Jesus family is that family where all those that hear the word of God and do it belong. You cannot belong to the Jesus family, but also belong to what we can also call the world family. Not that there's something evil about the world, but in this case, the world is to be taken as that which is contrary to the values of the Jesus family. St. Paul, in most of his letters, talks about the world. If he's not talking about uh, the sins of the flesh, he's, also, he's talking about the sins of the world. So we understand the world in that manner. So for us to belong to the Jesus family, it means that we have to remove ourselves from whatever is contrary to the values of the Jesus family. That we should just belong to the Jesus family. And that does not mean that we have to be perfect for us to belong to the Jesus family. It is enough that we have the desire to belong to the Jesus family. There are people that want to belong to both worlds, the Jesus family, but also the, the world family. Some of us want to belong there, but also belong there. It doesn't work. You cannot be wearing a rosary and also carrying a charm in your pocket. It doesn't work. So for us to belong to the Jesus family, it means that we have to try and get away from anything that destroys our relationship with Jesus. Jesus is told, that his mother and his brothers and sisters or his brethren are seeking to see him. They are not able to see him because there are so many people gathered around him, but they seek to see him, they want to see him. In his response, you might want to say that Jesus is trying to detach himself from his biological family. That he's trying to say, no, that Mary is no longer my mother. Those that come with her as my brother, as brothers and sisters, they are no longer my, my brethren. Jesus is not trying to drive that point home. What Jesus is trying to say here is that his family is bigger now, is now bigger than what people want to ordinarily refer to as a family, and that is the nuclear family. That his family also incorporates these that are seated around listening to him. Not just listening to him, but doing what he is saying. So yes, those that want to see him, those that are standing outside are still his mother and his brethren. They are still his family. But his family is now bigger. All of us are brothers and sisters of Christ. All of us are disciples of Christ. All of us are cousins of Christ. All of us are mothers and fathers of Christ. All of us are a family of Christ. We belong to the Jesus family and therefore, it means that our conduct, our life, should align itself with the values of that family, the values of Christ. And how do we know the values of the Jesus family? It is by listening to the word and following what the word is saying. All the values of the Jesus family are in the Bible, are in the word that we listen to every day we are attending Mass, every time we are attending our church services. Those values are there. And when we try to follow them, it means that we are trying also to belong to that family, which we are, we are calling the Jesus family. If you and I have to ask ourselves today, where do we belong? Where do I belong? Do I belong in both worlds? Or do I belong just to the world family? Or I belong just to the Jesus family? I'm sure all of us are here because we want to belong to the Jesus family. We have the desire to leave the world so that we belong to that family where we can be nourished spiritually. Jesus is calling us his family. He's creating space for us in his life so that we can configure ourselves to him. And when th that happens, it means that the world does not have power over, over us anymore. It means that the, the, the devil does not have power over us anymore. Because then what we acquire from Jesus is something that is superior to all these things around. It's something that is more powerful even than the, than the devil himself. Our ultimate goal should be to belong to the Jesus family. We pray for ourselves that in our day-to-day -day activities, we may always endeavor to belong to the bigger family, the family of Jesus, 
where everybody is a sister and a brother to everybody else, where we are all unified just as one, as one people, where there is no rich, there is no poor, where we are all uh, equalized, where we, we become just the same thing. It is a special family, a family where we should all belong. Amen.